Hello by the programmers. So in this video, we'll discuss how to create a Android application using Python or basically we'll discuss how to convert a py file to a .apk file. Okay, so we'll be using these two files. This is the py file and this is the kv file. py file is for the backend and kv is for frontend. I've discussed it in my previous video. Yes, this video is part second. In the first part, we have discussed all the coding of how to create this Python file and how to link it with this front end. Okay, now before we move ahead, I have to give you one warning. If you are using a low end system, you may feel some throttle. Okay, and also I am recording this on a window system, but the solution I'm gonna give of how to create the Android application will be applicable to all three platforms, Windows, Linux, and Mac. Best case scenario is if you are using a Linux, Worst case scenario is if you are using a Windows. Okay, so I am on the worst case scenario. Anyways, let's start off with the first step is to install Linux. Now you must be confused. You said that uh, you are working on a Windows system. Now you are saying that we have to install Linux. Now you really want me to wipe out the Windows on my system and install Linux? No, no, I'm not saying that. We'll install a virtual machine on this system. This is why I said your PC may face some throttle, but it's just a one time use. So yeah, now to install the virtual machine, you have to go to your browser. I'm using brave browser here. So virtual machine. And we'll be using virtual box. This is the virtual machine provided by Oracle. If you have experience with any, uh, with any other virtual machine to install uh, Linux on, you can use that. I don't know why it's taking time for loading. My internet is working good. Uh, click on the latest version of the virtual box that is available. I don't know why it's... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm using a Windows host, so I'll install the Windows host. And uh, I'll probably install on uh, the f the folder where I am having uh, my files. Okay, this is just my preference as I create my video. So I don't want all the files dumped in the download folder. It's just my preference. You can download in the download folder. Uh, it won't take that much time. Click on this. Now for you, it may be a blank screen. For me, it's uh, asking me a yes or no question. If I want to install, I'll click yes. Preparing to install a uh, next. Uh, okay, next. I don't want to create uh, shortcuts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Install. It will take some time. Okay, so congratulations, you have successfully installed VM virtual machine. Now click finish and it will launch our virtual box. Okay. So this is our virtual box. And before we do anything, we have to download Ubuntu. So we'll download Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Uh, this is the official website. And uh, you can use any. Okay. And uh, you can use any Linux that you want. But if you're a Windows user, I would say that you should download Ubuntu. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's go to downloads and uh, click on this button here under the Ubuntu desktop. And uh, it will take some time. Okay. It will take some time because it will be a huge file. Okay. It will be a really big, fi uh, big file. So it will take some time. Okay, so the executable is finally installed. Now what you have to do is go back to the virtual uh, machine. Click on this new button. Give the name to your uh, operating system. I'll simply say Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Uh, it will automatically select Linux. Okay. Click next. Then you have to select the memory size or the RAM size. Now I am having a 8 GB RAM laptop, but I am currently recording the video. So I'll probably allocate 2 GB. And uh, yeah, let's see. 
we don't have to do any heavy lifting so i guess 2 gb will be enough uh then we'll add some memory so yep i want to create a virtual hard disk now click next uh yes we want dynamically allocated click next and uh 10 gb yeah we don't have to do a lot of tasks so 10 gb uh will be okay it's not like I'll be using Linux daily. I'm pretty happy with the Windows system that I'm using currently. So yeah, 10 GB uh, will be okay. Will be okay. So okay, so now our Linux is created. Now you have to click on this start button. Uh, this GUI will pop open. Now you have to select the Ubuntu uh, executable that you have just downloaded. So where is the file? Where is the file? Where is the file? Yeah, there you go. Choose, click on start. Ubuntu safe graphics, click enter. And uh, okay, so the screen is a bit small. Okay, so we have transferred our files on our virtual system. As you can see, this is the Python file and this is the .kv file. Okay, you may also notice a few things here. First of all, the date is changed and I know this is a long interval. Actually, I was working on my Ursana project and yeah, it took me a lot of time. Also, you can see there is a packages.txt file. This is actually not required for the project, but this file has the instructions of how to convert this Python file to the APK file. Okay, it's a complex process. This is why I have written the process in this .txt file. Okay, so let's get started real quick now for transfer actually the drag and drop is not working on this virtual machine i don't know i have enabled the drag and drop from the option but still it's not working anyways what you can do is you can go to firefox and sign in with your gmail and just mail the files okay this is a jugadu method that you can use anyways enough of the chit chat let's open the terminal and uh, let's start installing the packages so first is this lib ssl dev okay now this is a very important package okay most people working with buildozer have problem with this lib ssl package only so make sure that you install this package correctly this is the command that you have to write 
sudo apt get install git lib ssl dev python 3 okay sorry python 3 press enter you have to enter the password and for me it won't take okay so the password was wrong just a second okay so for me it didn't take much time because the package was already installed but for you yeah it will take some time okay then actually Cython is not properly installed so what you have to do is you have to write this command and what this command will do is it will create a new file in cd slash bin and you have to write this command inside this Cython file okay a blank text editor will be open for you and you have to write this command i'll also provide these commands in the description or in the pinned comments you can copy from there because they can get a bit tricky okay anyways after this you just have to press ctrl plus s to save and then close it okay then you have to write this command okay so now after these packages are installed this lib ssl and cython what you have to do is you have to install buildozer okay so what you can do is you can clone this github repository you can clone this github repository paste the command here remove these things press enter okay so the permission is denied because actually there is already a file so let me delete this real quick okay now let's go back i guess we are in inside bin so let's go outside now let's write the command okay so now the cloning has started and if you go back to the folder you can see the buildozer folder over here okay you have to create this buildozer folder on the home then let's go back after the buildozer repository is downloaded then you have to write these commands okay these are some packages that you have to install open jdk lib tool cmake and uh, many such packages you have to install i'll provide this command in the description you can copy and paste from there okay it's a pretty complex command so uh, don't try to write it yourself and yeah it will take some time for me it was already installed so yeah it didn't take much time then you have to go inside bulldozer uh, sorry inside the bulldozer folder so cd Buildozer. Then you have to install the setup. Uh, sorry, you have to yeah, you have to install the setup.py file. So let's write this command. We have to install the setup.py file, and it will install Buildozer for you. Okay. Then the next command. Okay. So we have installed everything. We have installed Buildozer. We have installed all the packages required. Now let's start creating our APK file. Okay. Uh, now what you have to do is you have to write Buildozer. Uh, Buildozer in it. This will initiate Buildozer. Okay. Now if you go back to the folder uh okay so the spec file is not created oh actually we are in the buildozer folder only so let's go back and uh, let's go inside the python folder the uh, folder in which our files are present okay my bad i'm a windows user so my bad cd python we are inside python now let's uh, initiate the buildozer okay so the spec file is created let me show you the spec file okay so the spec file is created and we have to make some changes on the spec file okay um, first is the title you can change the name of your application okay this is the title of the application and this is the name of the package okay then if you have any external file you can include that file over here let's say you have a csv file so you can uh, include the csv format over here 
then the version is 0.1 you can make changes if you want and uh, these are requirements if you are using any external package apart from python 3 and kiwi so you can mention it over here like we can see sqlite 3 and uh, this is orientation so we want all the orientation then nothing important here nothing important here uh, actually we have to allow the android internet permission yeah we have to allow the internet uh, uh, sorry android internet permission and uh, now i guess we are okay to go yeah we are okay to go now let's save this uh, let's save this let's go back to our terminal and the next command that you have to write it will actually create your apk file okay now if you are using this for the first time it will take a lot of time okay if this is your first time creating the apk file it will uh, take a lot of time so go outside or have some coffee do whatever you want to do it will take some time let me press enter for me it won't take that much time but yeah for you it will so go outside and enjoy the nature so yep we can see the success message here now let's go uh, let's go back to the folder there you can see the bin folder over here click in this bin folder and this is our apk file okay once again you can transfer this apk file to your smartphone through your mail okay just sign in to your google account from the firefox browser and send the apk file to your smartphone okay this is a easy jugadu method so yeah you can also see the demo of the app that we have created just now on the right hand of your screen all the source code and everything will be provided in the description okay but i would insist you to write your own code so yeah this was it this was not so short video on how to create a apk file from your python application okay i have planned on creating more of such projects like the voice access the camera access i have multiple idea on this uh, python kiwi concept and yeah one more thing actually we have just started the channel membership okay so if you want to see that how these projects are created how i think about these projects how i research about these projects the sneak peek of the backstage then uh, you can join the channel membership where i'll probably start live streaming in a few months and live stream will have everything like uh, thinking of the project doing the research about the project meanwhile you can help me or you can ask me questions over there and we can have some fun on the live stream also okay so yeah if you want the sneak peek of how these projects are created then you can join our channel membership but yeah there will be no special projects for the members as the channel's motto is to create free projects for everyone okay so the projects will be free forever but for the people who wants the sneak peek of how these projects are created you can join the channel membership okay so yeah this was it and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye